DOA, for for example, just seem to be part of art scene. I don't yeah. know. They just seem to be yeah. a part of. They were well accepted. You know, it wasn't like they were outsiders and coming into the city and everyone. They were kind of. They just seemed to be part of the family. I did get the boot from DOA, and there was nothing nice about it. But Brad was all excited about coming down. I didn't really know what had happened with him and DOA or whatever. Me missing that gig in Seattle uh, really put Joe off too, because poor Joe, you know, he hadn't been playing guitar very much at this time. He was resigned to being a lead singer, and when, when you know, and I said, okay, I'll, I'll meet you guys in Seattle at the only place, and I didn't show. So of course he had to strap on the guitar to do the show, and and he was a little bit livid about that being a little bit out of shape, you know. And, Stuff like that, right? We started writing new songs with Brad, but we did we played a lot of the old ones as well. But he co-wrote Corpus Christi, which is one of my favorite Avengers songs. I was kind of flattered in a way because after I, I went down there and learned all the songs and stuff like that, all the other guitar players in San Francisco went, how did you get that gig? How did you get that gig? I don't recall them holding auditions. And it was like, they didn't have auditions. There was no auditions. I just joined the band. Like that, right? I remember my pay. My pay was so much that night that I thought I was. I thought I'd been put in charge of the whole band's pay. And they said, "No, no, idiot. That's just your cut. You think we'd let you handle the band's pay on your first goddamn gig? I don't think so. I don't think ever." Which is that was the truth. How much did you get paid? About 450 bucks for one show. It was always like that. It was always like I made a lot of money in the Avengers. How much money did you get paid from Joe and Dale? Well, I don't know, like 20 bucks or something.